not say rare? He offered to cook you a new one. Looks like wait another 40 minutes? Forget about it. You should have known better. The French can't do steak. Steak, sports, war. They pretty much suck at everything I like. I'd love to go to France. Well, you won't be going with me, sweetheart. You wouldn't go to France? France, China, Jersey, I got a list a mile long. You're not interested in seeing Paris? The Louvre? Honey, I'm almost 40, I have cable, I can see the actual tower on TV, okay? Well, where do you want to go? At this age, there's pretty much two places I like to go, uptown and downtown, and right now, downtown's starting to get on my nerves. What? I might have to pee again. You just went when I paid the check. I know my body, I might have to go again. Just give me a second. You can't hold it? I want to go back into that bathroom because I know it's nice. Relax. Honey, I don't know if you've noticed, but this ain't exactly my neighborhood, you know what I mean? I'm such a homophobe. I'm not a homophobe. I saw Elton John live at Madison Square Garden. I sat in the third row for two and a half hours. I have to pee. Five minutes. Lala, be nice. He likes you. Uh-huh. Keep moving. Sure, it was a gay club? Yeah, man. I, you know, they came out the front, they were talking, and then Frank put his arm around a guy, and they went off down the street together. Oh, come on, listen to yourself, man. Frank is not gay. He can't be, right? Wrong. I'm shocked, but not surprised. There's been inklings. We mean inklings. Look, if Frank is gay, I'm gay. I'm, I'm not gay. Last couple of weeks, he keeps disappearing. Yeah. When I ask him where he's going, he tells me to shut up. It's none of my business. Well, I don't, that's, that's... What are you guys talking about? Frank is gay. <laughs> what? Yes. McNeil saw him coming out of a gay club with his arm around a little boy toy. Yep. Oh, come on. Of all the guys here, Frank is the least likely to be gay. Who's the, uh, most likely? Don't worry, it's not you. As a matter of fact, you're pretty far down the list, and Frank is right behind you, so to speak. Well, how do you explain what I saw? Yeah. Because... I, I don't know, but he's not gay. Come on, he's been married to Jeannie for, like, 20 years. She's a beard. Well, who knows? Maybe she's a lesbian, and they got some kind of deal work. Ah, so they're both gay. Yeah, you guys keep up this excellent detective work, and soon we'll all be homosexual. Yeah, well, not me. What are we gonna do? I, I don't know. Maybe I should just talk to him. You know what I mean? That's no good. He's not running around waving a copy of Rope Monthly over his head. He's in the closet. I say we tell him. No, no way. Well, let's find out where he's running off to. Tommy! Yeah? Tommy, Mikey. Tommy, we gotta go up. Come on, do we? All right. Don't ask him about what you saw. He's just gonna deny it. Let me handle this. Frankie! Oh. I went down to that place in the village last night. Yeah. You know what he told me about? Yeah. It was great. Tell him I sent you? Yeah. Treated me like a prince. What did you do last night? Uh, I watched the uh, John Wayne Festival on AMC. Now, there was an undervalued actor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, let's follow. Somewhere I can buy a scale. Well, can you weigh yourself on? Yeah, my mother's going to Florida tomorrow. She wants one down there. Why didn't she buy one in Florida? Because she's psychotic. You should ask Frank. You can get anything you want for free. You know, I'd like to try that. What? Getting stuff for free like Frank. But I can pay. Come on, it's easy. I've seen him do it a million times. Come on. Ah, oh, Pip, I don't know. Nah, no, come on. You know something's going to go wrong. I don't like this. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, that guy's so gay, even the G is so. He's J. It's not even the guy I saw with last night. No, it's not. Frank's a glutton. He goes through guys the same way he goes through food. 
Right now, to him, the world is a great big man-meat buffet. I think I think Pip's right. There's got to be an explanation. Yeah. Well, that John Wayne thing, that's a little something we call overcompensation. And I didn't tell you this. We're in a car the other day. Yeah. And he starts singing Hello, Dolly. So? He knew all the words. Really? All of them. There's no excuse for that, Mike, and you know it. Uh-oh. Looks like trouble in paradise. Frank must have said so. Yeah. I want to be on top tonight. Mm. He's coming this way. Come on, we can get a good look. With your eyebrows, this guy's about to burst into flame. Are you using the phone? No, 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 Hey, hey, it's me. Yes, yes, I was just with him. Oh, my God. He's impossible. He's good. No, like I'm supposed to be at his beck and call, like I'm, a, like I'm his little slave, and he's got all these demands. No, I know. Listen, I wish I could just walk away, but you know how this gets so emotionally involved? Well, he is a monster, and I, he's just so selfish. No. No, I'm going to go back to the office. Frank is selfish. I'm just saying. Why should you pay? Just let me do this, OK? Fine. Knock yourself out. Hey, how are you doing? Detective Phillips, 21st Precinct. Hello. Uh, we just stopped by to make sure everything's going OK and let you know we're keeping an eye on things for you. Now, if you ever have any trouble, Here's my direct number. You give me a call. Uh, by any chance, do you sell uh, scales? I'm looking for a bathroom scale. I'm here today. Just I'm here. <laughs> See, there, right there, that's what we're looking for, a scale. No, 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 down. Da no, the blue and white. N yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> OK. Do you think he's ever going to come back? Hard to say. Oh, come on, let's just go. No, Jan, I'm getting you to scale. Pip, there are plenty of other stores in Manhattan. We. Oh. Hello. One, two. No, we just need one. No, it's good. How much do I owe you? Your police? <clears throat> That's right. $46. No, no, no. Police. Forty-six dollars. <laughs> this worked out well. Thanks, fellas. Uh, have a good one. Ah, there you go. I don't know, man. I still can't get my head around this. Man, you never know about people. We all have our secrets. So what if Frank is gay? Huh? It doesn't change anything. You're still Frank, the Frank that we know and love. You gotta tell yourself that. Yeah. I hope he's not thinking about us in that way. I don't know. I hope he's not thinking about me. Why would he do that? Well, come on. I'm not a bad-looking guy. I'm mean, <laughs> What? What, you wouldn't do me if you were gay? No, man. You're way too complicated. Well, what would you do? What? If you were gay and you had to pick somebody at work, who, who would you pick? I'm not playing. I do Ruben, I think. Know, he's he's small like a woman, you know, and, and he uh, you know, he's uh, you know, women seem to like him. I mean Jan's always talking about he's always talking about how soft his hair looks and stuff. <laughs> what? You've actually given us some thought. No, Jan was, was talking about it. Hey. Hey. Your mom like the scale? Yeah, she wanted beige. But, and she's never going to like the thing anyway. It's a piece of crap. I got on it last night, just curious. It says I weigh 164. And that's 
Hi. Are we the same as I did in high school? Thank you very much. How much do you weigh? Where's Michael? Drinking himself to death over this whole Frank is gay thing? Oh, he's all shook up. <laughs> yeah. It's in the book. In a minute. You should have heard him yesterday. First, he's wondering if Frank has anything for him. Uh, of course. Then he starts talking about if he was gay, who he'd do at the office. You're kidding. <laughs> it was really weird. Then he started going on and on about how he'd do Ruben. So he's small like a woman. He has nice hair. I mean, it was really weird. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look, I got to run upstairs. Watch my phone, huh? Yeah, sure. He said what? Hello. I, I'm looking for Detective Phillips. <laughs> you just missed him. Can I help you with something? Detective Phillips bought a couple of bathroom scales at my store yesterday. Oh, I was with them. I was actually the one buying the scale. Oh, oh, well, then I am here to apologize. My brother, he told me the scales he gave you. I was so upset. They are garbage. I know. I got on it last night, and it says I weigh 165 pounds. Yes, yeah, they are all off 5, 10 pounds. These are what you want. These are digital. These are top of the line. Oh, well, that's very nice. Thank you. I just need the other scales back for inventory. Oh, well, mine's at my mother's, and I, I don't actually know where his is. Oh, but you can find him. I guess so. Well, as soon as you get them both, you call me. I'll come right over and pick them up. Oh, no, no, I'll bring them. No. Just call me. I'll come right over. Yeah. Hey. Hey. You been working out? Yeah. I was gonna get you a scale. Mm hmm. Hey, this is a beauty. It's nice, huh? Let's see. These are my heavy shoes. Mm. Hey, Jenny Crack, you wanna give me a hand? I'm trying to find the Polaroids from the Victor file. Oh, here, yeah, I got them right here. Boy, I just had the best lunch. Tasty. What was his name? Huh? Where? Like two blocks from here. Seafood, goulash, thing. It was delicious. Listen, cover me for a few minutes, will you? I gotta go off. Yeah, go ahead. Have fun. Hey. What do you got? Evidence. Look, harp music. So? Gay guys love harp music. They do? Sure. It's light and airy just like them. The instrument itself wasn't so heavy, they'd all be playing it. What's the other one? Elton John's Greatest Hits. I have that CD. What? Nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna go talk to him. This is ridiculous. Well, my vote's already in. Frank is definitely gay. Stop saying that. Don't you think this hurts me, too? Hey. Hey. Take the haircut. Thanks. See you later, man. All right. What are you doing? I don't know about this, Pip. What? I had to see this guy, the scale guy. He was like, I don't know, jumpy, upper lip sweating. If he said the thing is a piece of trash, why does he want it back so badly? You didn't ask him why? Not really, but it seemed real urgent that he get them both back. Go get him. Thanks. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Uh, how you doing? Uh, I'm uh, good. You? Good. Yeah, I'm good. Good. Um, so the thing I, I wanted to talk Listen, about. Listen, I'm glad you wanted to talk, because I got something, something I've been thinking about sort of weighing on me. Really? Yeah, personal thing. Yeah. How personal? Pretty personal. Mm-hmm. So what would you want to talk about? No, no, you go. Well, this is hard. It's uh, kind of a two-part problem. I got this thing going on that nobody knows about. And I've come to find out, well, well I'm just going to say it. I'm attracted to somebody at work. Really? Who? You. I'm gay, I think you're really hot, and I want to do it with you. <sighs> Frank, I gotta tell you You this. moron! What the hell is the matter with you? You actually think I'm gay? No. Well, that's not what I heard. Who told you? Al. Al. Figures. Just what is it exactly about me that screams gay? The wardrobe? The $8.50 haircut? The wife for 23 years? How am I gay? <laughs> Look, I was the one at work telling people it wasn't possible, but that, what were you doing coming out of that sex club two nights ago? Some? No. Al did. Oh, I got a call from Wilder downtown. They're looking for this suspect, a gay kid into fat guys. Oh, chubby chaser. How'd you know that? Just tell your story. Well, this guy's already given the slip once or twice, so they send me in. I cozy up to the guy, tell him I got a place around the corner, and off we go. Okay, but what about that guy you had lunch with yesterday? How about that guy? What about him? You followed me? No. Tommy did. You guys are unbelievable. My wife's sister's girl is getting married. Your niece? Yeah, I guess. Whatever. So she's got me running all around town like an idiot. That guy I met, he's the wedding planner. You want to talk about gay? Yeah, that guy was floating a foot off the ground. I thought you said you weren't there. Tommy told me. Man, what a relief. You know? Yeah. Hey, I'm not laughing. What? I'm very angry with you. What, because I thought you were, you know? No, I don't care about that. What really hurts, Mike, is I thought we were pals. If I was gay, damn it, I'd tell you. You would? Probably not. But I'd want to tell you. And I'd hope you'd want to tell me if there was something going on with you. Of course. I like this thing with Ruben. What thing with Ruben? thing where you like Ruben because he's small like a woman and he's got nice hair and soft lips. Who told you that, Pip? No, Al. Oh, Al knows? So it's true. No, no. I was having a hypothetical conversation with Pip when we thought you were gay. I never said anything about his hair and his lips. That was Jan. Well, I'm glad you're not gay. I'm glad you're not gay. You're not, right? Mikey, read my lips. I am not gay. Good. Just curious. Hey, Ruben, how's it hanging, pal? Huh? Take it, take it easy. L look, Frank. I'm a very liberal person, but having sex of any kind on the street with another man is just Hey, not... that was not a case. I didn't have sex with the guy. I was just talking to him. Oh, but Al said that you... Al was wrong. I'm sorry, Frank. I should know better than to get involved with, with, with workplace gossip. Yes, you should, most definitely. Hey, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why not? Well, Mikey's got a real thing for you. He's had a few drinks, so he's horny in hell. If I were you, I'd go back in the stall and don't come out till I tell you the coast is clear. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. You know, I got to hand it to you. You only had one thing to go on, but you trusted your gut and you went after it. I'm impressed. Thank you very much. And thank you for my scale. <laughs> I told you I'd get it. 
You thought something was gonna go wrong. <laughs> I know. I guess you can't be right all the time. Okay. Good night. Good night. Mm -hmm. Hey, you gotta bring that scale back. We need it for evidence. You better call your mom. Uh, we're gonna have to wait now. She's on her way to Florida. She's right at the airport already. Oh my God, Pip. What? My mother's at the airport. The dog's found it in your luggage. I don't care what your dog's found. If I miss my flight, I'm gonna kick some serious ass, you hear me? 